everybody, my name is Tanya and today I've got a book haul for you. So I'm not quite sure when I acquired most of these books anymore, it's just a collection of things that I have acquired since I did my last book haul video, which I think was April. So kind of May, June, July stuff that I've acquired. So I've amassed quite a lot so I might split this into a couple of parts, but for this video I've got 9 things to show you so let's get into it. The first one I have is Boy Snow Bird by Helen Oyemi. I ordered this one after I read Mr. Fox earlier in the year by Helen Oyemi, which I absolutely loved. It was bizarre, I don't think I knew what was going on most of the time, but just something about it really clicked with me so I am very keen to read more of Oyemi's work. So where Mr. Fox was a kind of loose telling of Bluebeard. Boy Snowbird is somewhat based on Snow White, although quite loosely as I understand, but I'm really really interested to pick this one up and see how I go with another of Helen Oyemi's books. Next up I've got a few more books in the Virago Bond Classic Designer Editions. In my April book haul I hold quite a few of these, all the ones that I could kind of get my hands on, and I had a comment from Patty Killian who let me know that some of the ones that were no longer in stock were back in stock on Book Depository and I was so excited and immediately ran over there and there were two more that I hadn't been able to get that I have managed to get my hands on which I am so excited about so thank you Patty once again. I'm so happy. <laughs> the first one I have is Excellent Women by Barbara Ping and I also got The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter which I'm so pleased about because this is one of the most lovely of the covers. I think it's beautiful and I've read a few things by Angela Carter now and I'm definitely intrigued to read more of her work. And the third one I've got is not one that had come back into stock but a new addition to the Virago Bond and Classic Designer Editions and that is The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. This I've read a couple of times and I absolutely adore but I didn't actually own a physical copy of it. And so I'm so pleased to finally have my own copy of this because it's something that I'm definitely going to revisit in the future and it's so pretty. So I have been looking at the edition that you get the whole set of the series in but with this book I'm kind of hesitant to read further in the series. I think this one is kind of great as it stands alone and I'm worried that reading more is going to ruin it. I don't know, I probably should trust the author but as it is I'm kind of uh, happy at the moment just to stick with this one so to have this in a copy that wouldn't match any other editions is quite alright by me because this book by itself is just great. And that order came with some new book depository bookmarks that I've never seen before and some of them are stunning. So first I've got this one and then this guy which I really quite like. But the most stunning that I've not seen before and is just gorgeous is this owl on this one and I just really like this one with kind of the watercolour and so pretty so another few additions to my book depository bookmark collection apparently. Next up is something that I found in my local independent bookstore and I was super excited to find it because I didn't know that this one existed. I keep meaning to look into whether there's more of these editions and I keep forgetting but I found another little token. So this is Smith of Wooten Major and it is a gorgeous little hardback that matches the ones that I have already and I'm so happy to have another one sitting on my shelf. I don't really know all that much about this except I want to read more Tolkien because it's ridiculous that I call him basically my favourite and have only read The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. I've now got four of these little editions and they look so nice together. Next up I have Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison which is something that I've heard absolutely amazing things about but I've never got around to reading. This is on the Thousand One Books You Must Read Before You Die and also the 30 Before 30 list that I'm meant to be working on but I'm making no progress on at the moment so this one deals with issues of race in America and it sounds amazing. It was first published in the 1950s and the little blurb on the front says The man who made black America visible, powerfully heartfelt and savagely funny. And as I said I've only heard amazing things about this one so I'm definitely looking forward to getting into that one. And it's a bit chunkier than I was expecting although I suppose it is quite a compact little edition here. But I really like this cover too, I think it's really striking. And I like the touch that when we're talking about being visible and not being seen by society that the little penguin uh, logo up here is partially obscured by the cover and I think that's a nice touch. Hopefully now that I own this I will get to it sometime soon. Next up is another one that's been hugely popular on booktube and I've heard amazing things about and that is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. This is another one that deals with race and also with homosexuality and again was published in the 1950s and it's something that I can hopefully make time for soon. And then the last two books that I've got to show you in this haul are absolutely stunning. They're things you've probably seen on booktube before, uh, particularly one of them at the moment is incredibly popular but so beautiful. I'm so excited to have them on my shelves. So the first is something that I've been eyeing off four years and I just haven't picked up because it was a little bit pricier but I bit the bullet and I ordered it and it is just stunning and I'm so pleased to have it. And so that is Angela Carter's book of fairy tales. 
and this cover guys i know you've probably seen this before but just this this cover is fantastic so this past month i finally read the body chamber by angela carter and i enjoyed it with some reservations there were some stories that i enjoyed more than others but i will talk about that more in my july wrap up but i'm really happy to have this too there was definitely enough in that collection to make me want to read more of her works and just this cover basically no regrets so this collection contains uh, retellings of different fairy tales from around the world and it looks just words. Words apparently are failing me. So not only is the cover gorgeous but there are also illustrations in here that are just beautiful at the start of each part but there are some old pictures throughout the text and this obviously hasn't been opened much because it's very <laughs> stiff but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous piece of art and I'm looking forward to diving into this slowly I probably won't read this all in one go but to dip in and out of um, I'm looking forward to reading some more Angel Carter and this next one has literally been everywhere on booktube and I am so happy to be jumping on the bandwagon because it sounds absolutely amazing and the cover is stunning and this is one I'm not the biggest fan of hardbacks but this is one that I splurged and I ordered the hardback because I needed this in my life so there's that if you haven't guessed that is Grace Keepers by Kirsty Logan. This cover is just stunning and the glittering and whatever but the reason of course that I got the hardback which no doubt you've seen many many times is the book itself. So we've got the gorgeous end papers but then the mermaids on the cover and it's just everything I had hoped for seeing it on so many channels. In real life it is just even more stunning and I can't wait to get to it. These are nine books that I've recently acquired for this portion of the haul at least. So if there are any here that you've read, let me know in the comments what you thought of them. And if there are any that you think I should read sooner rather than later, do let me know. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!